You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face on Greater Brockton. I'm not sure the number of appearances, but uh, <laughs> when we talk history, we talk to the president of the Historical Society, Carl Anderson. Welcome, Carl. Thank you. Nice to see you. Good to um, see you. History of Brockton has always been fascinating. Yes. Fascinated me from the days I had David Carroll at West Junior High School yeah. at the time, West Junior High at the time. Mm -hmm. He was the history department chair, and all my history teachers, Mr. Sullivan, Robert Sullivan's dad, dad yeah. uh, Peter Toomey, Mike Lombardo, all the greats, okay? Yeah. That's what I got my love for. But the Historical Society is a special place, and we are coming up on the 76th yeah. anniversary of the Strand Theater Fire. That's correct. Okay, and I understand today, just found out, just figured it out, there's a book coming out. That's correct. Tell us about it. The book is uh, written in collaboration with uh, Nicole Casper from Stonehill. She's the archivist over there, along with Jim Benson. And the uh, proofing of it was done by uh, Chief Kenny Galligan. Mm -hmm. Good I combination had, there. That's a great combination. The uh, rather informative, because a book has never been written. It's always been just pictures right. and bylines. And in this case, Jim Benson was the uh, key to uh, book signing. And for the camera's sake, we had uh, the latest, which is in color. Right. Prior to that, it was the postcards that were very famous, but they're all black and white. Commemorated Rocky, and these are all Jim Benson's handicapped. This was Brockton, the first book, and then the Swedes of Campello. Right. And the, uh, the beauty of having Jim as my uh, vice president and treasurer, he has helped us immensely. And his style of uh, writing, as Nicole suggested in a conversation that we had, the man's brilliant as a word crafter. So the he's book generous. He's he he always donates a lot of the proceeds of that yes, book to the Brockton Historical that's Society. Correct. And being a small nonprofit, that's a central fund. That is a central fund, and he has been very helpful over the years. But you know the the magic of uh, alluding to the fact of the Fire Museum. This was drawn by John Adams, mm -hmm. a local artist and a member of the society. And in this picture, it allowed me to lead you into uh, Chief Edward Sunnyborough, his 100th year, and we have been receiving uh, donations in his memory. And this is a card that was produced by the society in saying thank you to those who uh, supported us. He was a wonderful man, very oh. generous man. He was our sergeant in arms at the Brockton Rotary, Rotary yeah. for years, yep. and uh, he would meet with his buddies uh, over at the McDonald's on the <laughs> Brockton West Bridgewater line, which isn't there anymore. No. But um, he always had something funny. He was very humble. When I went to interview him, we've covered the Strand mm -hmm. every year yeah. that Cable's been here. But he never wanted to be on TV. He never, ever wanted attention called to himself. I also think he, he f kind of felt bad that he survived that fire and the other 13 didn't. Uh, th well, this is to honor the 13. And th to honor Sonny Burrow is to recall his leadership as the fire chief and how important he felt and trained the men. That was followed by other chiefs. Sure. Kenny Galligan is considered to be the same kind of oh. jewel of management. And the jewel, besides the people, is the fire museum that we have over there, along with the homestead That's and the right. shoe museum. That yeah. is a fascinating place that people put their heart and soul. We don't want to forget about Billy Donovan and all that he did over there. Yeah. And, That's the and reason even, it's there. And even rescued all those newspapers that were headed towards the, the, the right. dumpster. Uh, back in the day, and, and I think he went a little dumpster diving because when the enterprise closed down, they didn't just going to want to keep away. that stuff. And that's fascinating to me. But the the the, the way the fire folks, I mean, Ken Gal, they meet over there every Wednesday. They have an active group and an active, oh, yeah. and and we have an outstanding fire department. Best in the country. No matter which chief we have, the men and the women of that fire department, 
and, and it's proven out that just we had just lower insurance rates mm -hmm. uh, for our houses and exactly. our businesses because of that. Brockton's lucky. Well, I think it's more than luck. Mm -hmm. I think it's the professionalism of firefighting and the esprit de corps that the uh, men have for one another watching out. Uh, Sonny was the youngest to be in the Strand Theater fire. He had just come on the department. Mm -hmm. My father was in that fire. He was a lineman for the uh, fire department. I didn't know that. That's new. That's new news for me. Well, and I've known you a long time. So He got called because of the general alarm that was called for the fire. He brought the extension light with the uh, engine company one was along with the squad. Mm -hmm. Put the light down but didn't have enough extension cord. Went out the door onto School Street up to Maine in front of the Kennedy building where Ladder 2 was. Retrieved the cord that was necessary. As he came through the door, the roof came down wow. where he would have been. Wow. So that's that's th amazing. There's an attachment where I show up every March 10th mm -hmm. because it's uh, the fortunate part of living and never forgetting. So this commemorating book that uh, actually is in very great detail and uh, the promise of good reading and the testament to the 13 men that uh, passed away in that fire. Are there really clear pictures of the 13 men in the book? Absolutely. Okay. Well, Absolutely. that makes me happy because every year we cover the event and the pictures that are blown up, you know what happens when you blow up a picture? You yeah, see all the little dots. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of the pictures of the... I, I saw Mr. Carroll because I had... I think it was his, his, his grandson. His uh, David Carroll, was yeah. that his grandson? Who was my teacher, or yes. was that his son? No, that was his, his grandson. Okay, grandson. and I went. Uh, Patty Cruz, who mm -hmm. is his daughter, That's we right. went to school together, and I, I just remember that. I, I, I go all the way back to the early '70s when I was in junior high, and, yeah. and, and he instilled that in us. So because up until 9/11 and Worcester, yeah. I mean, largest loss of life in a fire department was Brockton. Was Brockton? That's right. So well the mission of the uh, Historical Society keeps getting better, literally by the day. I mentioned as I sat down a lady named uh, Carol Zakor. She's from uh, Wolfsboro, New Hampshire. Yeah. Sent me a note saying that she was cleaning out her 97-year-old father's stuff. And in it was the program for the class of 1888 was from small, Brockton a High small School. class. Yep. Well, look at I told you we were going to have a hard time with nine minutes. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna do a take two for this, but let's talk about the date real quick. They told give me the minute cue. The date for the signing is the twelfth of March. That's a Sunday. Okay. And it's what time? a regular opening. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there from one o'clock on. Okay. So and the intent is uh, the book signing and selling of the books and giving a copy to each family member that uh, is of the 13 firefighters. Very nice. Yeah, it, it's a lot of good thinking and harmony with uh, Archie Gromley, the Firefighters Union. Mm -hmm. They are leading the charge. Uh, it's important to recognize the responsibility that they have taken on, endangering themselves. And we have to uh, thank Jim Benson, Nicole Casper, and Chief Kenny Galligan for their participation. Well, I'm looking forward to it because I have all the other books and <laughs> add that to the collection. So thank Good. you for being on, Carl. You're welcome. Okay. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.